Vater, wir danken dir für alles, was du für uns tust. Dass du uns an deine Verheißung erinnerst. Bitte reinige uns von alles, was falsch ist. Himmlischer Vater, wir danken dir für alles, was du für uns tust. Heilige uns durch deine Gabe. Dass du uns an deine Verheißung erinnerst. So the notes are in the live stream group. Es gibt Notizen im Livestream group. Bitte reinige uns von alles, was falsch ist. Okay. So we want to continue a little bit with the thought from yesterday. Wir wollen fortfahren mit die das Gedanke, womit wir gestern uns befasst haben. Yesterday we looked at these two temple cleansings here. Gestern haben wir diese zwei Tempelreinigungen hier angeschaut. Es gibt Notizen, da hast du auch die Geschichte von Achan angeschaut. Wir wollen fortfahren mit das Gedanke, wir haben das Prinzip angeschaut, dass wir eine Sünde begehen. Yesterday we looked at these als wenn wir eine Sünde begehen, wenn wir da den Bahala hingeschaut, dann bringen wir letztendlich einen Fluch auf die ganze Versammlung. Wir haben auch die Geschichte von Ahab hingeschaut. Und wir können sicher sein, dass hier das Reinigung des Herrn hat, dass ein Sünde begehen, ein Volk, ein reines Volk sein wird. Wenn wir eine Sünde begehen und wir darin beharren, dann bringen wir letztendlich einen Fluch auf die ganze Welt. Man kann den Spätregen nicht ausgießen, wenn es noch Sündern in Zion gibt. Und damit meine ich jemanden, der bewusst und wir sind sicher sein, dass hier in den Tempel Reinigung des Herrn dafür sorgen wird, dass sein Volk ein reines Volk sein wird. Und der Herr deswegen gibt uns hier das Kühlregen. Man kann den Spätregen nicht ausgießen, wenn es alle unsere Makel, Fehler, Verhalten in dieser Zeit überwinden können. Und damit meine ich jemanden, der bewusst die Sünde praktiziert. Und dann wenn es kommt, und wenn wir spät sind, der Herr kommt, deswegen kommt uns hier das Frühling spät reden. So dass wir alle unsere Macht unter den Spätregen offenbaren, die wir diese Zeit überwinden können. You can only receive this if you have fallen. Then we understand this. This latter rain, when it comes, brings all men the latter rain. Alles zu spät, dass wir verstehen, dass wenn der Spätregen hier kommt, es kommt mit den Früh- und Spätregen. And now let's go back to our rain under the latter rain here. So, let's go back to our rain under the latter rain here. Aber diese Frühregen hier unter den Spätregen offenbart nur neue Sachen, die wir vorher nicht gewusst haben. And you can only receive this. Let us read once more verses 24 and 26. Let us read once more verses 24 and 26. So it says, and Joshua and all and the knowledge of them took Joshua Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold and his sons and his daughters and his oxen and his asses and his sheep and his tent and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Acre. Let us read once more verse 24. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones. And Joshua burned them with fire. All Israel with him took the Acre, the son of Zerah, stones. And the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold and his sons and his daughters. So the Lord took from the pierced of his anger. Wherefore all the name of that place was called the Valley of Acre unto this day. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? Who got punished?
Lord shall trouble, Lord shall trouble thee this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones and burned him with fire. And all that he had, right? they had stoned him with and stones. They were stoned and they raised over him a great stone. stones. Unto this day he burned with fire. The Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore the name of that place was in called the Valley of Peace. It says here, right in verse 25, unto this day. Okay, and Joshua so said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day. So what comes upon Achan here? Was kommt auf Achan yes, Achan and his whole family. Trouble. Okay. Achan and seine gesamte so, and all that he had. Yeah, so alles, was er the burning of the wicked, they were stoned and then also. Yeah. Trouble comes upon the wicked. So, maybe, it says here, right, in verse 25, the comes upon the wicked. What did the wicked do to the right? Joshua said, why has the Lord chosen us? The Lord chose probably this day. So, what comes upon Achan here? Trouble. Okay. So, uh, so, Burning of the wicked means what says here, why hast thou trouble us comes upon the wicked? Ja, warum hast du verbrennen der Bösen heißt, dass du Trübsal kommt? So here is the trouble <coughs> for the wicked, but before yeah, for the, the trouble comes upon the wicked, what did the wicked do? Das auf den Gerechten, aber noch bevor dieser Trübsal auf den Bösen kommt, was haben die Bösen den Gerechten angetan? But what is it here for the wicked? Yes. Aber was ist das hier für den Bösen diese Zeit? So it says here, why hast thou troubled us? So here the, the wicked, here is the trouble <coughs> for the wicked, um, for the righteous, caused by the wicked. Okay. Um, because it's a time of what is it for them, for the wicked? Okay. And here it's the righteous that yeah. prosper. Yes. Here mm -hmm. the so the the is the true time of year, the, the, the wicked prosper. Yeah. So here the bösen gedeihen. And what do the wicked call yeah. this time? And what do the bösen this time? Okay. Uh, because it's a time of peace for them. What do the wicked call this time? Okay. And here it's the righteous that prosper. Mm -hmm. Because it's the true time of peace. What is this time for the righteous? Yes. And what do the wicked call this time here? And what do the wicked call this time here? So, and for the, and the wicked they say here, what is this? What do the wicked call this time? Was nennen die Bösen? They say it's the millennium, right? Sagen, dass das dem Millennium ist. So that's the, what is this time for the righteous? Old millennium. Das ist diese Zeit für falsche Gerechten. Yes. Zeit des Friedens. So that's the true millennium. Hier, das war. Thousand years, right? Thousand Jahre, richtig. So, and for the... And the wicked and the sea, what do right. they say? When Christ comes, he will just turn everything again in its right yeah. point. They say it's there, but right. Satan right. will turn everything up and down. The millennium was so that's the false millennium. Er wird alles in seinem millennium. Uh, richtigen uh, Bahn drehen, denn Satan regierte alles vollendig hier. Das okay. war. So, and basically, right, uh, they get burned. Like when Christ comes, and then he will just, just remind turn us of everything this and just again just in its right context. Because so Satan or a uh, second down when he was crucified. Okay. So, and basically, right. Uh, Let us read verse take it burn six to ten. Uh, let it, let's just remind us of this verse in First Thessalonians chapter one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chapter one uh, uh, second Thessalonians one, I think it's verse six to ten. Okay. So it's seeing it is a righteous thing with God to reckon Recompense and tribulation to them that is 6 to 10. So the same thought, right? Christ, 
he was recompensed now the wicked here and they trouble just the one. That uh, gelten the bösen here by the vergelten the bösen here by the den gerechten zuvor Trübsal auf sie gebracht. And then when it comes it says and to you who are troubled seeing it is a righteous rest for us. He brings you rest to reckon with us when the Lord gives tribulation to them reveal trouble you from heaven with his mighty angels. Same thought, right? Yeah, so it's the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. He will recompense the wicked here yeah. and they trouble he brings you this, this yeah. peace or this rest. Yeah. 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 And then it says in verse 8, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, it says in to you that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he brings you rest, who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction, from the presence of the Lord from heaven from with the glory of angels. Power. That's the revelation of Jesus Christ. So when he comes, what is this? How will he punish the wicked? So when he comes, he will bring the bösen peace or this rest. He will bring this Frieden or this everlasting destruction. Then it says in verse 8, right? In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the wicked, they will ache in his flesh, and that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. He shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. So when he comes, and then it says also in verse 10, the wicked, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all the everlasting destruction and cause of testimony among the wicked. So when he comes, what? That's what will also happen here. The burning of the wicked here when Achan and his whole family all his possession got burned. This is the same as the burning of the wicked here when Achan and his whole family and all his possessions and goods were burned. Yes. So. And admire it says also in verse 10, that believe. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. Because of testimony among you what we need Christ that day. So when he comes, what will also be the first point to verse 10? When he here comes, what will also be in you? The hope of the Lord. Yes, this combination of divinity and humanity and now admire all them that believe. This combination of divinity and humanity. Now Christ is admired in His people. Okay. The connection between humanity and God. Christ will be in His people. Okay. So, because you get baptized. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to Malachi. It says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven." And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall be shall leave them neither root nor branch. And let's read verse one. So, what happens here? Yes. Okay. The bösen werden zerstört. Says, for behold, the day cometh will be burnt. That shall burn as an oven. Will be burnt here. And all the Proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, the root and the branch. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, O Gomer, the Lord of hosts. That it shall be shall be go in neither root nor branch. So, what happened? Satan and his children. So, Achan was yes the father, right? And his children also got burnt. And who will be burnt here? So here we can see. Father, yes, the root and the branch. And in this illustration, who's Gog and who's Magog? And that's actually something that is a statement. We have a long drawn out war between the king of the north and the king of the south. Achan was the father, and his children also got burnt. But there's another long drawn out war in the Bible. So here we can see. Father. Father and children get punished. Okay, yes, that is true. All right. And that's actually something that is a yes. Let's go to Genesis. We have a long drawn-out war between the king of the north and the king of the south in the Bible. 
in der Bibel, wir haben diese lang ausgezogene Aber es gibt ein weites, lang ausgezogenes Krieg. And let's read verse 15. Yeah. Okay, so what do we see here? From 15. Yeah. Okay. But what long drawn out war is this question? Wem stellen die Kinder? Krieg findet hierin statt und am Ende wird der Herr darüber entscheiden. And we understand, right? The children. Let's just go to the notes. Let us just represent it. Verstehen die Kinder? Das Samen stellt wen? Children are all those uh, who bring to the truth. Okay. 
Kinder sind all diejenigen, die du zur Wahrheit machst. Aber wenigstens das Schlusswort. Okay. So, you can be become a father, says behold, I am the children whom the Lord has given me. Du kannst ein Vater werden, wenn du wie Paulus jemanden zur Wahrheit, diejenigen, die die Wahrheit bekehren. Okay, so basically you have Christ and the true seed, you know, that's Christ in all those so people, that basically the, uh, the children are all those Christus, uh, whom you bring to the truth. Okay. And then you have Satan and his okay. seed, so you can be, become a father, like Paul, it's all those that bring somebody to the truth. he guided into his error. Okay. okay, so basically you have Christ and the true seed, this long drawn out of all those people that he guided into the truth. Christus, and then you have Satan and his seed, and his quote is and all those that he guided into his error. And obviously Satan tried to block out the the right is Satan two seeds and it's, it's der Samen long drawn off war between uh, the many illustrations um, in the Bible I just speak. Diese zwei Samen okay. und der lang okay. ausgezogene okay. Krieg dazwischen. Es gibt viele Darstellungen dessen so, in der Bibel. Ich habe nur ein paar Beispiele let's, herausgesucht. Let's jump over to the next one. See in Esther chapter 3 verse 6. Wir stehen Esther 3 verse 6. Wir müssen zwei Zitaten. Wir gehen zur Seite. He is a Haman. And obviously Satan tried to Mordecai alone. For they had shot out the people of righteous side. Wherefore he was sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole. There are many illustrations in the Bible, I just even the people of Mordecai. Okay, so he wanted to destroy basically the whole. In the Bible, I have only a few examples. Haman, for instance, in Esther chapter three, verse six, says, and he thought, and also in Moses' time. Thought upon to lay hands on Mordecai alone, Satan tried to do. For they had shown him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were all the males and all the male children of Mordecai. So he wanted to destroy basically the whole seed. And also in Moses' time, by two. Auch zur Zeit von Mose, what did Satan try to do? Immer Satan war es zusammen zu tun, auszulöschen. Okay, now let's go to the next verse. He killed all the males, right? Bible verse. All den männlichen Kindern, die sie töten, die sie töten. So he wanted to. Second Kings five verse seven. Twenty seven. True lineage. Zweite Könige fünf, Vers siebenundzwanzig. Which Christ goes come. Er wollte die Blutlinie abschneiden, dessen Christus kommen wird. So he will do the same. He will cut off all the wicked seed. So now we see that he will do the same. He will cut off all the wicked seed. Okay. Now let's go to the next one in Second Kings five twenty-seven Bible verse. Zweite Könige fünf siebenundzwanzig. Die nächsten Bibel Vers. Speaks about in Second Kings five verse twenty-seven. Shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever, because and he went out from his presence. Now we can also see. No. Yeah, that's basically the Lord. And then the next one is Joshua. We already read this. Which is the Joshua? We have already seen this. But now let's go to Daniel chapter six, verse twenty-four. The bösen Daniel sechs vierundzwanzig. Okay, so for instance, in Second Kings when five twenty-seven, Daniel gets delivered out of the lion's den. That's the point where Daniel was delivered from the lion's den. Shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence. Die Jünger, die ihn beschuldigten, werden da reingeschmissen. Then the next king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions. Then the children and their wives, and the lions, when he threw off them, Daniel gets delivered out of the lions' den. Das ist der Punkt, wo Daniel aus dem Löwengrube raus. So we can see, therefore, that those that accused him. And the Lord, He will, when this punishment comes, yeah, He will punish the leaders, but also the king commanded that they brought those men which had accused them, and they cast them into the den of the lions. Then the children and their wives, and the lions, and the master of them, so all those children, obviously they came at the bottom, and they received this chance here to repent. But so we can see, therefore, that. They will likewise. Yeah, the Lord, He will, when this punishment comes, 
Fuß and she will punish the leaders, but also an ihrem all their children. Halten, okay. dann sie, können sehen, so wie sie Vergeben. But women okay. speaking. And whatever is illustrated internally is also illustrated yes. in Jezebel, which is the yes. mother of Hart. Right. So that she has Revelation 2, 22 to 23. So it says, and I will kill her children with, says, behold, I will cast, and uh, all the churches yeah. shall know that I am And then that commit of adultery with her in the great tribulation, except they repent one according to their deeds. So, about whom is speaking of you according to his words. Yes, yeah. Jezebel, which is the mother of Harlots, right? Isabel, the mother of Anathias. So she has children. She had children. And says, and I will okay. kill her so children with so basically says that, um, uh, and I will kill all her children with death. So, and her children, are, who are her children? Where are your children? Yes, where are they? Who are the children? Okay, just go. So, so basically says that, um, uh, yeah. uh, and I will kill all the children with um, death. So, so, and then we also know about the children, the story of Haman, who also got hanged. Und dann wissen wir auch in der Geschichte von Haman, wer würde auch noch ähm, yes, da hängen. Uh, Esther 9, Vers 14, it says here, Esther 9, 14. and they hanged Haman's ten sons. Okay, so, so the children are Jezebel. Who are the ten sons? Wer sind die zehn Söhne? Who is Haman and who are the ten sons? Okay, good. And wer yeah. sind die yeah. zehn Söhne? So, so then we also know from yeah, this, in the story of Haman, right, who also got hanged. So Haman is the United States. So therefore, yeah. so we can see it internally and externally. As the nine is fourteen, it says here, the children also get punished. They hanged Haman. So both intern as well as extern. Okay, so who are Jezebel and the children of Haman get punished? Both Haman and the children of Haman. Haman here bestows the children. Root and branch. Both Haman is the United States, so therefore, yeah. so we can see it internally and externally. They receive a greater punishment than the children. The children also get punished. So, children of Jezebel and the children of Haman get So now let's go to the point about who's your first family. Because root and branch both get punished. Wurzel und Zweig werden gleich bestraft. And obviously the, the fathers, they receive a greater punishment than the children. The fathers receive a greater punishment than the children. Okay. And the multitude sat about them, so and they said unto everybody could follow. So now let's go to the point and he answered them saying, about who is your true family. And he looked and around the bed on them, which sat about them, and said, Behold my mother and my brother. For whosoever shall do the Lord's work, the same as my brother and my sister. Okay, so who's really your true family? And standing without, when they stand apart from me, you may scoff this. When the multitude sat about them, and they said unto them, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren, the unique and the best is held in her. And he answered them, saying, Who is this? And he wrote, A right and God's as which sat about them, and family. Behold, my mother is in the name of God, seed for whosoever shall be the will of God, the same is my brother. And obviously, this family, there are, okay, so who's a father and family, a mother and children. Okay, so, yeah, so some of us are in the role yeah, of a parent, and others are in this sense, right, the child. 
Okay, also Lord und spielt die Rolle von Kindern und andere die Rolle von Family. Okay. In diesem so Sinne, Gott sieht uns als so Familie. Sieht also das okay. And obviously, in this family, there are our fathers and there's Mothers and children. All those okay. from the family, you give this fetal and mother and children. Okay. Family. So, all those that are circumcised. So, some of us are in the role you know, of a parent, and others are in the role of a child. Okay. Manche von uns spielen die Rolle von Kindern und andere zwei Eltern so. Okay. Derjenige, der ein wahrer Jude ist, ist beschnitten im Herzen. Und diejenigen, die eine Jude sind, äußerlich sind eine Familie und die Juden sind innen, inwendig, sind das andere Familie. So, therefore, it's just a, also a practical principle that whenever our literal family, when they are not in the truth, also ist das selbe Prinzip wie Nummer zwei. Also derjenige, der ein wahrer Jude ist, ist beschnitten im Herzen. Und diejenigen, die eine Jude sind, äußerlich sind unsere leibliche Familie, sind innen, inwendig, die nicht in der Wahrheit von uns was wollen, aber unsere geistliche Wahrheit der Familie was anders wollen, dann müssen wir unsere geistliche Familie immer in unsere leibliche Familie stellen. So they so want something from us, but also the our family is also in the truth at the same time, and they are always on spiritual. Also spiritual. Also in the spiritual family, also in the Wahrheit, they are also our spiritual family. So, die nicht in der Wahrheit von uns was wollen, aber unsere geistliche Wahrheit, Familie, natürlich, was anders wollen. Lasst uns jetzt unsere geistliche Wahrheit immer über unsere leibliche Familie. Because this is the white chest is caught right. The well-ordered family is the very literal testimony. Family is also the truth. That's a good discipline. 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 And obviously, this has an implication for the truth of the family. Now, let's go through this psalm. This is also an application for a family as a whole. One hundred twenty-six. We as a people are to be this well-ordered and disciplined family. Because this is the white chest of the sport. The well-ordered family is the greatest testimony. So let's read this psalm 128. Geordnetes Familie ist das Psalm 128. Zeugnis oder das beste Predigt. And obviously this has an application to literal family. Das hat natürlich eine Anwendung zu einer buchstäblichen Familie als auch eine geistliche. We as the people are to be this well-ordered and disciplined family. But we, as God's folk, should be this well-ordered and disciplined family. So let's read this Psalm 128, verse 1 to 6. Psalm 128, verse 1 to 6. Okay. So puts it in which what time here this is the promise? So this is a verheißung. In which time that is possessed? That's in the time of peace. In the time of peace. Peace be upon from Israel. Frieden over Israel. And it says here your children will be placed where? It says that the children will be placed where? Around that table. And what what is the table where they will be placed? So puts it in with what time? Tafel oder den Tisch. Wo ist der Verheißung? Eine Kind. Welche Zeit wird es besetzt? Das ist in der Zeit des Friedens. In der Zeit des Friedens. Der Center Table von Israel. Friedens Center Israel. Table. Also der Tafel in der Mitte. Your children will be placed where? Tells us right when this time of peace will come, we will beget many children. So on the table. And what what is the table where they will be placed? Will be a father to many many children. We will we will become Abraham. Okay. And center table, right? Because what does it say in Genesis 18 to 17? So what did he tell us? Right when the time of peace will come, we will beget many children. We will be a father to many many children. And we will we will become Abraham. Okay. And 
Yeah, because what does it say in Genesis 18, verse 17 to 19? What did Abraham, what does Abraham do? What does Abraham Then you want to read this for us? Yes, he will command all his children after him. Yeah. Um, Abraham means the father of many nations. Abraham heißt Vater viele Nationen. So the Lord basically says, Shall I hide? Uh, what does it say? Shall I hide from Abraham the, the, that thing which I do? So what does Abraham do? What was it? Abraham das verbergen? Was ich, uh, zu tun vermag. Yes, he will command Seeing all his children after him. Yeah. Yeah. So, Abraham, Abraham means eine the father of the here we are to Abraham become a great and mighty nation. Okay. So, so hier, the Lord basically says, shall I hide? Okay, uh, and what is the law hide from Abraham? Yeah. The Hier about the thing which I do before Abraham the Herr sagt, uh, stell die Frage, hier sollte der Herr hier Abraham tun, das verbergen, noch bevor Abraham was ich eine äh, zu tun vermag? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, I hide from Abraham that thing which I do. Da Abraham wohl eine starke und mächtige Nation, was ist es, wenn er sagt, hier soll ich das vor Abraham verbergen, starke und mächtige Nation willkommen werden. Okay, and what is the Lord now? You're about to do just before Abraham becomes a great man. Was soll der Herr about hier punish gerade tun? Sodom and Gomorrah. Noch right? bevor uh, Abraham kurz davor Sodom und Gomorrah zu bestrafen. So, the Lord says, just before Shall Abraham becomes this great and mighty nation, I do. What does he reveals to him the punishment to on was ist es, Sodom and Gomorrah? Was was kurz bevor Abraham wird zur mächtigen Nation gemacht, der Herr offenbart yeah. ihm uh, die Bestrafung auf Sodom und Gomorrah. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Abraham to Just before Abraham becomes this great and mighty nation, yield to us the punishment. He reveals to him the punishment. The Herr fängt jetzt gerade an, uns kurz bevor Abraham wird zur mächtigen Nation gemacht. Der Herr offenbart when it comes, we will come die Bestrafung auf so wenn es kommt, werden wir diese große und mächtige Nation werden. But in this time we are to command all our children then, so is this our experience? Soll das oder wird das unsere Erfahrung sein? It is our experience, right? Because the Lord begins now to reveal to us the punishment of Solomon and Gomorrah. So, command and command. And when it comes, we will become this great and mighty nation. Kommt, werden. But in this time, we are to Befehl command all our children, then all those people that will be converted to the Lord, to okay. walk, and they will sit, as the Psalm says, around the table. Um the table sitzen, also in English is it the word table, which also is the same center table. Is. Uh, it already shows us where we will be teaching all, all, all those people. So it shows us where we will be teaching all those people. So it shows us where we will be teaching all those people. So it shows us where we will be teaching all those people. So it shows us where we will be teaching all those people. So it shows us where we will be teaching um the table is the table. Because God will uh, prove the true doctrine here, the true Already shows us that uh, we will be teaching them all those people. So the 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 because God will uh, uh, prove the true doctrine here, the true methodology. The Herr wird der wahre Methodik oder der wahre Lehre hier beweisen. And that's why we will get so many children. Darum werden wir so viele Kinder. Okay. And what else are we to do with those children? Und was sollen wir noch mit diesen Kindern tun? Okay, let's go to Psalm 78. Let's read verse 4 to 7. Verse 4 to 7.
son, the cradle, the children of the Lord should be born in, in this wonderful life, and the prayers of them to their children. Establish a day when the testimony of Jacob, their hope in God, pointed the Lord, and not forget the words which he commanded of our body, this day should make them known to yes. their children. Okay, so what are you to do? Was I to do? The generation. What are you to, to tell your children? Was sollst du deine Kinder hier erzählen? Yes, mighty works of God, right? Die Taten Gottes. And then also that he appointed the law in Israel. Okay. So what is this way mark here? Yeah. Okay. So what are you to do? Which way does it apply to the law? What are you to, to tell your children here? Yes, it's Sinai, right? This is Sinai. So it's, it's right here by the law of God, right? Uh, the law declares the law. And then also that he appointed the law in Israel. Okay. And it's, it also says in the Bible, don't forget this day when so the Lord came this down fire on Mount Sinai. Which way does it apply to the Lord? Don't forget this mighty work that the Lord did here. Yes, it's Sinai, right? And that's why we must, as fathers, we become here this right here where the Lord, uh, the Lord we must always refer them back to right? what we learned. In this time. Yeah. Yeah. It also says in the Bible, don't forget this day when the Lord came down in fire on Mount Sinai. Right? Yeah. Don't forget this mighty work that the Lord did here. That's why we must, as fathers, we become yes. as fathers. And because here, right, what we must always refer them back to what we learned. In this time, reject your past experiences. Therefore, the Lord wants to make clear the work that we are to do right here. Okay. command all our children after us. Okay. Now, let's go. Because here, right, what is the test? Uh, 13, verse 7 to 8. Reject your past experience. Therefore, the Lord wants to make clear the work that we are to do. And the command And I shall show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did. Exodus 13, verse 7 and 8. Okay. So, here, what, what happens to you? It's the cross, right? It's the Passover. And here you come out of Egypt. And you are to tell your son always about what happened here. And I shall show my son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did on the last one. Because when were the firstborn smitten? Okay. So, at midnight, right? Here, what, what happens to you? So, at the here. What is it? So, it's the cross, right? It's the Passover. So when you come out of Egypt, what are you to do? So, here you come out of Egypt. And you are to tell your son always about. So what does it what happen then? Auf dem like Weg pure message, überhaupt right? diese Hinde und so weiter erzählen yeah. über das, was hier ist. Because when were the how many days? Wie viele Tage waren die Erstgeborenen äh, erschlagen? Am Mitternacht, right? Am Mitternacht. Okay. So right. And the first Tage und wir sollten das probieren. So is, was it, what is it? And when was you come out of Egypt, what are you to eat? Und wenn du aus Ägypten herauskommst, was sollst du essen? Yes, unleavened bread, right? Sieben ungesaltes Brot. So what does it represent? So steht das da? Right here. Like this pure message, right? Okay. So now let's continue. And how many days? Seven days. Yes. Seven days. That's also seven days, right? Seven days. What is it? What is it? So now Putin fast is that? Man Jubel is the same as a plant. I mean you don't unleavened bread there, but okay. So uh, right here. 
So no one to continue. Continue. Bring all the harvest. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. The yeah. 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 That's also seven days. Right? Okay. So yes. um, and then eight days at the end. Yeah. Okay. And also let's now read here Ephesians. Man ungesäuertes das Brot Vor. isst und wir lesen auch in Epheser 6, 4. I mean, you don't eat unleavened bread, yeah, but... And your fathers provoke not your children to wrath, it's a but bring them up in the nurture and admonition yeah. of the yeah. Lord. We bring all the harvest. Also, next verse, yes. Colossians 3, 21. Your fathers provoke not your children to yeah. anger, lest they be discouraged. Okay. So, um, but also in Proverbs 29, verse 17 says, okay, and also Rest thy son, read here and he shall give thee rest. Verse 4, so he shall give the light unto thy six, soul. Okay, so, this, and ye fathers provoke not your children to be patient wrath with all those people, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And also next verse, Colossians 29, verse 17, Fathers provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. But also in Proverbs 29, verse 17, it says, Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. But we all are also to correct. He shall give the light the unto the thy soul. Okay, so obviously in this time, okay, we are to be because patient when he shall give all those rest. people that come in. Colossians okay. 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 then, um, then uh, 29, 17, that we should not be angry with our children. So in this time, we should not be angry with our children. And then there's the train up a child, but we all are also to, grow, to correct them when they were all. But we should also be able to correct them on the way of the Okay. When you now because do work faithfully here, he will remain faithful in this. Test. Rule, okay. Wenn du ein treues Werk in dieser Zeit um, bringst, dann die Kinder werden in dieser Zeit bestehen. Okay. Uh, now next verse 6. 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 And then it says, and train up the child in the way he should go. And therefore, and when he is old, he will not shall you lay up these my words mm -hmm. in your heart and in your soul, and, do work and find them for a sign upon your hand, and that they may be as front of your eyes. In diese Zeit, um, so what is it talking about? Dann, worüber spricht es hier? Die Kinder werden in dieser Zeit bestehen. Okay. And now the next verse. verse. But where is it going to say? 11. Das Gesetz, aber wo soll es... Yes, okay. Yeah. Right here, the Lord will write it in your heart. And therefore, but it says here, shall you lay up these my words in your, in your heart and heart in your soul, and find them for a sign upon your hand, and that it may be a front of the in your eyes. So, so what is the seal here? What are you to do? Was sollst du tun? And ye shall teach them your children, but well, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou ridest, the Lord will write on your houses. Here wird der Herr das im Herzen. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of the children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them. So it's the day of heaven on the earth. Okay, so what are you then to do continually in this time here? And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So and thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house, and upon thy gates, work here. that your days may be multiplied in the days of the children, in the land which the Lord has to take care of many, many children, and okay. the days of heaven the earth. Okay, so what are you then to do continually in this time here? So what sollst du fortwährend in dieser Zeit tun? Also Vers 20, du sollst sie auf den Tor fassen. Every day. Yes. Das Gesetz fortwährend lernen. Und das, was wir hinter Blut auf den Tor fassen am Pfingsten. So this is our appointed work here. So das ist das bestimmte Werk, die wir in dieser Zeit tun müssen. Okay. So we have to take care of many, many children. Okay. I mean, there's definitely a door post marked here, as you said, with, you know, when they left Egypt. Also, auf jeden Fall gibt es Vers 20. Du sollst ja auch den Tor vor Ägypten verließen. And here is also a door post. Also, with the blood of the Tor Pfosten and Pfingsten. So, as I would see, you 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 write it in between here and. This is where you have to constantly teach the law. Yeah. So this is 
Aber mit, das das ist zerstört. Das ist definitely Dorf aus Martier. So, so man you know, das fortwährend lebt. Also, auf jeden Fall gibt es Türpfosten hier. Yeah, therefore, we can clearly see what the Lord requires of us in this time. Yeah? So, es ist klar zu sehen, was der Herr von uns auch in dieser Zeit erwartet. So, but the nice thing, thing about it is, you, it's also a real illustration how we deal with your literature. Und das Schöne darin ist, es ist auch eine Darstellung dessen, wie wir mit unseren leiblichen Kindern umgehen sollten. But also, obviously, even today, there's this father-child relationship. So, even in this marriage, therefore, we can clearly see what the Lord requires of us in this time. So it also tells us that the nice thing about it is, in a sense, the leadership role, how to deal with your literal children. Und was Schöne daran ist, ist auch eine Darstellung dessen, wie wir mit unserem Leiden auch diejenigen in so Leiterschaft but also obviously wie sie mit den Kindern umzugehen, also die Kinder auch die Kinder sind hier auch diese Vater-Eltern-Beziehung in diesem Ministerium. Also wir sind hier diese gut geordnete und disziplinierte Familie. zeigt auch diejenigen in eine Leiterschaftsposition als lebendige Zeugen, wie sie mit den Kindern erheben können und die Kinder auch die Kinder und die Eltern auch die Kinder sollen gehorchen und den Eltern respektieren. Dass wir diese gut geordnete und disziplinierte Familie werden können. Dass der Herr uns als lebendige Zeugnis ähm, erheben kann und äh, die Welt zeigen kann. Amen. So many things to think about in this point. Okay. Then let's close with our prayer. Let's close with the prayer.